Hello, Davis. All right, all right, everybody. Welcome one more time. So here we go again with the English class. Today, what we're gonna do is a review about uh, present progressive, and also we're gonna see uh, simple present versus okay present progressive. So we're gonna be like completing some examples. Uh, we're gonna be creating sentences, completing examples, completing uh, conversations, practicing some conversations, and also <clears throat> we're gonna be telling. Um, useful information from students. All right, here comes the first one. Hello, hello, Adrian, how are you today? Good to see you one more time. All right, so happy to see you. You are in action in this moment. <laughs> All right, Adrian. <laughs> what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Tea. Tea, all right, that's good. What kind of tea? It is... Uh... Como se dice. Es una mezcla de muchas. Ok, ok. Muchas. Pimienta gorda, ginger, honey, lemon, manzanilla, cardamom oil. Cinnamon. Ok, yes. cinnamon also, yeah, ok. Esas son pociones de la abuelita. <laughs> yes. Pero efectivas, ok, so they really work. Very effective. Relaja. Oh, yes. For sure, they do. Okay, Adrian, so you're number one. You're the winner. Okay, so you're, I'm going to start with you the class. All right, personalized class. Okay, for you in this moment. So let's start. <laughs> oh, no, there is Alicia right now. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Alice. Alice. <laughs> microphone, microphone, Alice. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, Excuse good me. evening. Good to see you one more time, Alice. Okay, teacher. Okay. So, guys, let's start the class. It's going to be personalized in this moment. The others are going to be joining us, okay, later. So, let's start with the agenda, okay, as usual. So, Alice, tell me number one, two, and three, please. Okay. Run up, describe you. Describing, describing. Describing, Bernard. Wrap up, describing, action, grammar, and explanation. Explanation again. Practicing a conversation, describe action. Yeah, okay. <laughs> describing. Describe. Describe. Um, creating. Creating negative sentences and question using the simple and present and the verb to be. Checking the homework. Remember, right? Thank you, Alice. And Adrian, number four and number five, please. Completing. Number four, completing a, completing a conversation using both, both present form and progressive form. Perfect. Number five. Number five. Practicing the conversation completed. Excellent. And number six, Ana Maria Alvarado. Ana Maria? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Hello. Okay. Allow you to Escucha. please, yes, perfect. Loud and clear. Okay. Allow you to tell us number six, activity number six from the agenda, please. Telling useful information about yourself. Thank you. Okay, useful, useful. Useful, no, useful. Useful. Tell me, telling useful information about yourself. And number seven is the wrap up. And Alice, the objective, please. To describe, Alice. To describe present and progressive action. Actions, that's good. Thank you, Alice. Little by little. Okay, guys, let's start this. This is the first activity, okay? Ex explaining you one more time about how to use Okay, present progressive. So yesterday I was telling you, okay, I was telling you that we use the present, the verb to be in a combination with a verb in the progressive form right here. So here we have this explanation. 
Uh, something that somebody was writing, okay, yesterday is uh, this. I'm gonna show you in this moment. For example, when I have this example, uh, drinking water, okay, drinking water. When I have this example, like says, let's put there, Alicia, okay, and, okay, Adrian, okay. So what do I have to use? Is or are, what can they utilizar? Is or are? Are. Are. ¿Por qué? Porque está hablando de dos personas. Excellent. That's good. That's good. Excellent. All right. In, in the platform, aparecía un ejemplo donde salía, no salía así, ¿ok? Sino que salía así. Alicia en I. ¿Ok? Alicia en I. ¿Cuál tendría que utilizar? Is or are? R. R. Siempre el R, correcto. That's correct. So, R sería la respuesta. Perfecto. All right, so I need to raise is, okay? Alicia and I are, okay? Talking, okay? Talking by phone. Vamos a complementarla. Talking by phone. All right, eso es lo que aparecía en la plataforma, okay? Así que no vayan a, a confundirse que solo porque dice aquí I, le voy a poner el I'm. Nada que ver, okay? Acuérdense que son dos personas. Uh, it's two people that you're talking about, like Adrian said. Así como dijo Adrian. All right, perfect. That's good. Eso quería explicarles también ahora. Okay, guys, remember that the uh, present progressive is actually poniendo unos verbos en progresivo. Y que están en combinación con the verb to be. So ahí tenemos one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different sentences. Okay? Adrián, quiero que me leas las primeras tres. One, two, three. I am going to I am going to the beach. You are playing soccer. You're watching TV. Thank you. Then the other two, Alice. Las otras dos. They are watching this story. They are they are writing writing <laughs> writing the story. Um, and she's talking in French. Perfect. And finally, Anita, here we go. The last two, las últimas dos, the last two. He's eating a delicious pizza. My dog is drinking water. Okay, guys, so basically that is the explanation one more time. I'm uh, using the present progressive. So we also were practicing a conversation, this one right here. La vamos a practicar en este momento, ¿ok? Alicia, you start the conversation. Adrián, you continue. Okay. Action. Hi, Alice, Adrian. Alice, it's me. You start. Yes. Yes, teacher. Hi, Adrián. It's me, Alicia. Alicia. Oh. Oh, how's, how's it going? I am pretty good. I am pretty good. I am killing you from the gym. Wow. What are you doing there? I won a scholarship. scholarship. So I am writing so French now. French now. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. What time is it, El Salvador? What time is it, El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay. Okay. Who's your family? Who's your family? Who's your family? How's your family? How's your family? Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. How's your family? How's your family? They are great. Everybody is here now. What are they doing? What are they doing? Doing. ¿Cómo es, yeah, what are they doing? What are they doing? Correct. What are they doing? Okay. 
my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing video games. And your mother? He's cooking now. He's making fried beans, fried bananas, you know, all the typical dinner here. That's delicious. Um, well, I'm happy to hear you are fine. I'm happy to hear you are fine. Otra vez. Okay. I'm happy to hear you are fine. Perfect. Continue. Um, Alice, continue. But I have to leave you. But I have to leave you. But I have to leave you. I welcome you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody to there, there, everybody there. I will. Perfect, all right, that's good. Now, okay, ahora Adrián, tú empiezas y Ana María continúa. Here we go. Hi, Ana Maria. It's me, Adrian. Oh, how is it going? I'm pretty good. I'm calling, I'm calling you from Belgium. Wow, what are you doing there? I won a scholarship, so I'm learning French now. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks. What time is it in El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay. How's your family? They are great. Everybody is here now. What are they do? What are they doing? Well, my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing video games. And your mother? She is cooking now. She is making fried beans, fried bananas. You know, at the typical dinner here. That delicious. Well, I'm happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you. I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody there. I will. Perfect. All right. That's good. Now, Ana Maria, you start the conversation and Elizabeth, you continue. Action. Okay. Hi, Elizabeth. It's me, Ana Maria. Oh, how's it going? I'm pretty good. I'm calling you from Belgium. Wow. What are you doing there? I won a scholarship, so I'm learning French, French now. That's great, congratulations. Thanks, what time is it in El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay, who's your family? They're great, everybody is here now. What are, they, what are they doing? Well, my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing video games. And your mother? She's cooking now. She's making fried, fried beans, fried bananas, you know, at the typical dinner here. That's delicious. Well, I'm happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you. I, I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take, take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody there. I will. Excellent. Okay. Remember, pronunciation is doing, not doing. Doing, doing. Doing. La otra, call you. I will call you, no. Call you. La A suena como O. Oh, call you. I will call you. Call you. Okay. Excellent. Elizabeth, now you start the conversation. And Noemi, you continue. Hello. Microphone, microphone, Elizabeth. Microphone, microphone. Hi, Noemi. This is me, Elizabeth. Oh, how's it going? <clears throat> I'm pretty good. I'm calling you from Belgium. 
Wow, what are you doing there? No, doing, no, doing, doing, doing. Doing, doing there. Yes. I want a scholarship, so I'm learning French now. That's great, congratulations. Thanks. What time is it in El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay, how's your family? They are great. Everybody is here now. What are they do what are they doing? Well, my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing video game. And your mother? She's cooking now. She is making fry beans, fry bananas, you know, and the <coughs> typical dinner here. That's delicious. Well, I'm happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you and call I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody there. I will. Excellent. Now Noemi, you start the conversation. And Billy, you continue. Hi Billy, it's me, Noemi. Oh, how's it going? I am pretty good. I am calling you from Belgium. Calling, calling. La suena como, oh, I'm calling. calling. I am calling you from Belgium. Whoa. It's correct? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> I won a scholarship, so I am learning French now. Perfect. That's great. Congratulations. Thanks. What time is it in El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay. How's your family? They are great. Everybody is here. No. Now. Now. What are they, what are they doing? Well, my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing, playing video games. And your mother? She is cooking now. She is making fresh beans, fresh banana, you know, all the typical journey. I know, all, all, all. Esa suena como all. all. You know, all, all the, the typical journey. Yes. Okay. That's. That's delicious. Well, I am happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you. I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure. Take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody there. I will. Thank you, Josue and Roxy. Action. You start, Josue. What happened to Jose? Jose, Jose? Okay, Roxy and Janet, ¿cómo está la conexión? Janet, how's the connection? How's the internet? Okay, ya la vamos a poner, okay. Roxy and Jose. Okay. Hi, Roxy, it's me, Jose. Roxy? Roxy? No audio. Roxy, no audio. Nothing. Still nothing. Nothing, Roxy. Still nothing. No, nothing. Okay, don't worry. Jose and Alicia, trata de resolver el problema. Ya te pongo con Janet. Jose and Alicia. Okay. Hi, Alicia. It's me, Jose. Oh, how's it going? I am pretty good. I am calling you from Belgium. Wow. What are you doing there? I go on a scholarship, so I am learning French now. That's great. Congratulations. 
Thanks. What time, what time is it in El Salvador? It's 7 p.m. right now. Okay. Okay. How's how how's your family? How's your family? How's your family? They are great. Everybody is here now. What are they doing? Perfect. Well, my my father is reading the paper and my brother is playing video games. And your mother? She's cooking cooking now. She is making French beans, French bananas. You know, all the typical diner here. Dinner, dinner. Dine, dinner. <laughs> okay. All that the delicious. typical diner here. Okay, that delicious. Well, I am happy to hear you. Uh, and I am happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you. I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take care. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, and say hello to everybody there. I will. Perfect, all right, here we go. Roxy, estamos bien? No. Excellent, all right, here we go. I'm gonna do it with you right now. Hi, Roxy, it's me, George, how's it going? Let me, no, but... Okay, see, I'm ahorita fine. estamos. I'm, I'm ahorita estamos... really good. Okay, excellent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, attention, pay attention to the questions. All right, here we go. Okay. Otra vez, otra vez. Hi, Roxy, it's me, George. How's it going? I'm pretty good. Hey, listen. Oh, perfect. Hey, listen. Right. Oh. I'm calling you from Belgium right now. Oh, that's, that's great. What are you doing there? Oh, you know what? I want scholarships, and I'm learning French in this moment. How's your family? Uh, they are... They are, are good and... Excellent. What are they doing in this moment? What are they doing? Um, my husband is study. is study. And my daughter is playing now. Okay, excellent. And what time is it in El Salvador in this moment? Um, here is 8 p.m. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. All right, Roxy. I'm gonna leave you, but I'm gonna call you on the weekend, okay? Okay, take care. Say hello to everybody in the in the English class, okay? Okay, goodbye. Say hello to Alicia, Josue, Elizabeth, Claudita, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Noemi, Adrian, Ana Maria, hey. Janet, okay? Okay, hello everybody. <laughs> goodbye. <I'm> more short. <laughs> hello everybody. Have a goodbye. good one. Goodbye, that's good. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Janet, are you ready, Salista? Janet? ¿Qué pasó? Se nos fue. Okay, Claudita. Apa, vamos a agarrar a Claudita. Okay, don't worry. Claudita. Okay, ¿qué es? Nada. Aquí no puede decir no. Okay. <laughs> All right, Claudita, are you ready? No. <laughs> Ok, no importa, aquí el no es yes y el yes es yes, ok? Ok, Así okay. de fácil. Here we go. Hi, Claudita, how's it going? I'm fine. Hey, one, oh, perfect, so happy to see you one more time. Oh, right, listen, where do you work? Uh, I work in the Atlantida Bank. Oh, that's a very nice place. Oh, one more question. What time is it in El Salvador? What time is it in El Salvador? Uh, it's, it's 8, it's 8, 12, 24, 24, 12, 24, 24. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, okay, because I'm calling you from Belgium. Here in Belgium, right now, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 5 a.m. in the morning, okay? Ah, so, okay. Yes. So, one more question. How's your family? My family? Yes, ¿cómo está tu familia? How's your family? Uh, uh, they, that's good. 
Okay. And what's your mother doing? My mother is back on my... Is. My she, mother is. She is. My mother is cooking. Ooh, delicious. What is she cooking? What is she cooking? Uh, the beans, banana fries, fried banana. Como? Banana fries. No, fried bananas. <laughs> I fry bananas and on. Okay, perfect. And uh, do you have a brother? No. Do you have a sister? Yes. Okay. What is your sister doing? Uh, how do you say acostada en la maca? Oh, she's laying down on the hammock. She is laying down on the hammock. She is laying, laying down, down. down. Okay, <laughs> nice. Great, right. great, right. great. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy, okay, I need to go because I'm going to start working at 7 a.m. here in Belgium. So I need to leave you. Goodbye. I call you on the weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, guys. Excellent job. That's the way that we put in practice. Recuerden que hemos estado practicando esta conversación así esquemáticamente, pero lo podemos hacer diferente. Okay. Y este es un ejemplo. Okay. That we did with Roxy and also Claudita. Very easy, very simple. So, guys, let's continue. Next activity. Here we go. Let me show you. Okay. What we're going to do in this moment. So this is what we practice right now. So look at how de practicar. So what we're gonna go ahead and do it is this. Okay, this is homework. Okay, que les eh, de ayer. All right. Excelente porque todos lo han hecho. Ya me escribieron ustedes ahí que si lo han hecho, me gusta que se sean, verdad? He estado corrigiendo todo lo que han hecho. I like it. All right. Billy, number one. Number one, Billy. Vamos a empezar por ustedes, all right? Billy. I want you to tell me the negative and also the question form number one. She reads the paper. Tell me, negative and question form. Okay, Billy, Billy. Okay, she doesn't uh, read the paper. Perfect. Okay, now the question. Does she read, read the paper? Excellent. Possible answers. Is she reading? No. Yes, no. she does. Repeat, please. Yes, she does or no, she does. And acuérdate, las, las respuestas pequeñas. Yes, she does or no, she does. And acuérdate. Repeat, repeat the question, please. Tell me the possible answers. Yes, she does or no, she doesn't. Okay. Now, Josue, number two, he is sick and tired. Is he sick and tired? Perfect. Ahora la negativa, negative. Um, he is sick and tired. Perfect. Possible answers? Yes, he is. Um, no, he isn't. Excellent. He's... Thank you. That's correct. Yes, he is or no, he is. And I like it. Noemi, number three, he calls clients. Impossible. In negative and question. Ah. He does call clients? No. Mm. Ah, negative. <laughs> he doesn't call clients. Excellent. He doesn't call. Acuérdate que esa suena como O. Ok, ok. And the question sería... Does he call clients? 
Col. Ok, acuérdate que esa call, suena como... Col. Col. Correr. Does he call clients? Perfecto. Does he call clients? Perfect. Now tell me the possible answers. Uh, perdón, repita, porfa. Now tell me the possible answers. Now tell me the possible answers. Ahora dime las posibles. Yes, he does. Ah, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Perfect. Thank you, Elizabeth. They are angry. Microphone, microphone, Elizabeth. Microphone. Hey, they aren't angry. Angry, no. Angry, como los angry bears. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, like that, all right? The angry bears. Okay, They're, they aren't angry. Perfect. Possible an are, answers. Uh, are they angry? No. Uh, are they angry? The question. No. Oh, are they angry? Perfect. Possible okay. answers. Okay. Is uh, Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Perfect. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. Now, okay, Claudita. We see the blue sky. We see the blue sky. I can see clearly now. The it rain is gone. Okay, that's good. It Otra vez. One more time. One more time. We doesn't see the blue sky. No. Mira la tablita. ¿A dónde está el sujeto we? ¿A dónde está? Ah, uh, we do. Uh -huh. No, we do. no, we la do negativa, negativa, negativa. Right. Tranquila, tranquila. Analiza primero. Uh, Excelente. Uh, Ahora sí estás analizando. Otra vez. One more time. Negative. We don't see the blue sky. Excellent. Now the question. The... Do we see no, the blue no, sky? no, do, do, do. Do, do we see the blue sky? Perfect. Possible answers. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Perfect. Thank you, Adrián. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. Okay. Question and negative. Question. Yeah. Question. Listen me? Do you listen me? Yeah, perfect, okay. loud and clear. Okay, uh, negative, uh, I, I am not amazed. 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 Correct. I, I am not amazed. Perfect. Question, um, I amazed. Excellent, possible answers. Yes, I am. Or not? I, I not. I not. Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay. Or no, I'm not. Janet, she is a nun. She is a nun. Okay, she is a nun. Tell me, Janet. Janet? Hello, Janet. Hola. Okay. Mm, she don't she is no. No, incorrect. What happened to Janet? Disappear. Okay. Disappear, disappear. Alice, okay? Alice, number seven. She's a nun. Alice? Excuse me, teacher. Okay. Excellent. She is doesn't... Um, no, perdón. She is not a norm. Perfect. Negative. Is, is, is she a no? That's the question. Perfect. Possible answers. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. That was the homework. I can see you handle this very well. I know you're understanding this very well. En qué, Claudita, ahí se me perdió Claudita porque no estaba analizando, pero media vez vio el cuadro, la recuperamos. So, right, excellent, I like it. Hay que analizar siempre, all right, si no se nos pierde. All right, guys, basically these are the, uh, the sentences, okay, to create negative and question form. 
Questions about vocabulary, preguntas acerca del vocabulario. Questions about vocabulary. No. Okay. Amazed. 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 Yo estoy asombrado. Amazed. Okay. Okay. Non, ¿qué es non? What monja. is non? Monja. monja. Correct. Non es monja. Non. That's good. Excellent job. All right, guys. Let's go ahead, okay, to watch the agenda one more time. And it says, describing actions, grammar and explanation. All right, we already did. Practicing conversation, describing actions. Okay, we did it. Ya lo hicimos, okay? Lo hizo con Roxy, lo hice con Claudita, ahí separadamente. Number three, creating negative sentences and questions using the simple present and the verb to be. All right, we just did it. Ya lo hicimos. Number four, completing a conversation. Vamos a completar una conversación. Okay, usando, using, ya sea el present, la forma presente, o la forma en progresivo. Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, so here we have it. Okay, aquí lo tenemos. This is what we're going to do right now. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer en este momento. It's Sunday and Anne's house. Okay, le voy a dar siete minutos para que completen esta conversación. Aquí tienen en paréntesis lo que van a ocupar. El primero ya lo hicieron como ejemplo para ustedes, ok? Aquí dice, where is David? Oh, he, ok? ¿Cuál utilizaríamos? ¿El presente o el present progressive? ¿Cuál utilizarían? Present continuous. Excuse me. Present continuous. Present continuous, correct. ¿Cómo sería, Claudita? Yeah, he clean. He? He clean, cleaning. He is cleaning, correcto. Where is David? Oh, he is cleaning his bicycle. Él está limpiando... Okay, su bicicleta. Okay, guys. So this is what we're gonna do. Eso es lo que tienen que hacer en este momento. I'm gonna give you seven minutes. Para hacer esto, okay, lo voy a poner en los salones. Lo voy a para trabajar en pareja, okay? Para hacer esto. So take a picture. Y lo voy a poner en pareja para que lo hagan. Here we go. Take a picture. One, two, three, four. Five. Here we go. Boom. Okay, guys. I'm going to put you into the rooms. Lo voy a poner en pareja para que hagan ese ejercicio. Okay. Here we go. We, there are 10 of us right now. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. Van a estar en pareja. Traten de resolver esa conversación juntos. Okay. Con la persona que van a estar. So here we go. Click on the invitation. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Action. <coughs> Escríbanla y la completan trabajando en parejas. Ok, here we go. Denle click a la invitación. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. That's what we're going to do right now. Ok, Claudita, Claudita. Join, join, join. Okay, perfect. Janet, si no te puedes unir, trata de hacerlo ahí tú solita, okay? All right, guys, what the students are doing right now, they are completing a conversation, putting in practice um, both, okay? Simple present or the present progressive. Okay, let's go and check it out in this moment. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, traten de hacerlo, okay? Uh -huh. Traten de hacerla. Escríbanlo, escriban la conversación y traten de completarla, okay? Here we go. Uy. Okay, there you go, there you go. I like it. 
Help each other. Ayúdense una a otra, ¿ok? Ok. Clean. Sería clean. Cleaning, dijo. Voy a dar el ejemplo. Sí. La, ya, ejemplo. Tiene, ya, tiene, ya tiene los verbos. Por ejemplo, en el 3, el ejercicio 3 dice play. Pero en dependencia sí. del, del, del contexto de la conversación lo vamos a poner. Sí. He usually play baseball. Pero que ahí no cambia. Entonces sería colocar el verbo en el, en el presente simple y en el presente progresivo, eh, dependiendo de cuál es la, 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 el tipo de pregunta, ¿correcto? Perdón, no le escuché bien. Di, sería colocar eh, presente simple o presente continuo, presente progresivo. Ajá. O más ser, según la, la... Según la, la, el contexto pregunta. de la conversación, ajá. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, en el tercero dice usually y ya tiene que vamos a ocupar el play de jugar. Y dice basketball on Sunday. But today he, he doesn't want. Excellent, excellent. I like it. Ahí vamos. Help each other. Ayúdense unos a otros. Ok, traten de hacerlo. I like it. There you go, there you go. Pero, yes, Billy, uh -huh. tell me. ¿Cómo identificar cuando se está hablando en... Para uh -huh. hacerlo en presente simple o presente continuo? Excelente, ok. Excelente question. Te la voy a responder en este momento. Hay palabras que se identifican del simple present y del, y del present progressive. Las, las frases para el present progressive son... Right now, now, in this moment, ¿ok? Todas esas palabras o frases te van a ayudar a saber de qué es el present progressive. Now, in this moment, and right now. Pero, teacher, yes. vaya, por ejemplo, en la primera, dice, where, what is, what is David? He is. Is cleaning. Yes. Él está, lo que está haciendo, en este, lo que está ten, haciendo en este momento. Pero y el presente simple. No, no es, no está bien ahí. He is. He's clean. No, porque acuérdate, si tú dices he is clean, estás diciendo él está a limpiar. No suena. Oh, okay. Eh. All right. En cambio, si está aquí, he is cleaning, él está limpiando su bicicleta. Do you understand? Uh -huh. okay. ok, perfect. Ahora lo otro, Billy, en el simple present, sí. hay palabras también que te ayudan. Por ejemplo, lo de Roxy. Roxy identificó que vio aquí el negativo. Ok. Ah. okay. Hay no se puede decir, he is not want. Correcto. No Excelente. <risa> Las otras palabras que les van a servir para el, para el presente, usually, acuérdense. Usually, always, never, hardly ever, sometimes, occasionally, todas esas también les van a ayudar, que es el simple present. All right? El often también, often. All right. Ya les dije bastante, tratan de hacerlo. Entonces, la última. La última. Entonces, a, a dejar como referencia, ¿verdad? Como Aquí referencia, dice... responda a toda la conversación. <risa> bueno. Nosotros ya pueden, ahí déjenlos. Entonces, vaya, por ejemplo, aquí en el. Usually, entonces ese ya lo tenemos que tomar como presente. El Correct. presente sería simple. Play. So, entonces, he usually. Play. No. Basketball. Usually playing. He usually. 
playing? No, no es playing. Play. ¿Ah? Play. Pero hace falta algo ahí. Está malo todavía, hace falta algo. ¿Qué, qué dijimos cuando hablamos de la tercera persona? He, she, it. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. ¿Roxy? Es, la, es, la Y. No. He, she, she, play. play. Bueno, en este caso, play. No. Es un, un ¿Cómo es? enlace. ¿Roxy? Place. Place, correcto, place. Le falta la S. He usually plays, acuérdense. Right? Acuérdense de eso, de la tercera persona también. Todo está jugando ya. Aquí un papel, all right? All this playing, this, all right? All this playing here. Place, perfect, there you go. Continue, continue. Y para continuar, <laughs> en el cuatro, por ejemplo. I know he doesn't want to. All right, ahí está Roxy, all right. Help each other, ayúdense unos a otros. Share help yeah. me, please. <laughs> pero, pero ponga su micrófono, teacher. Yes, para yes, que yes, <laughs> teacher, oh, es que no hemos pasado de esta, de esta parte donde dice, but today he sería one, two, please. No. no. Oh, ¿A dónde? Aquí. En la, en la parte donde está, todavía estamos donde... Ok, ¿cómo lo pondrían ustedes? Es que, es que si le ponemos una negativa, tendríamos que poner el, el is not. No, ¿por qué? Mira el no. verbo que te está poniendo. ¿No es el verbo to be? ¿Cuál utilizaríamos para la negativa entonces? Oh. Utilizando el he. he no, aquí no está el verbo to be. ¿Cuál utilizarían no entonces para hacer la negativa when is not the verb to be? No, don't want. No. ¿Para quiénes utilizamos el don't? ¿Para quiénes? El don't es para... They, I... Um, Correct. They, I... ¿Cómo se llama? Se me ha ido la palabra. I, you, we, they. I, you, you they. we, Ajá. they. Entonces, ¿cuál utilizamos para el he, para hacer la negativa? What we use for he? Doesn't. Doesn't, correct. So, he, aquí le está diciendo, hacer la negativa. He doesn't, y de ahí el verbo, ¿cuál uh, sería? Doesn't. He doesn't want to play basketball. Ok, like that. Ah, uh, ok, ok. All right, there you go. Cada vez que vean eso, tienen que ver... ¿Está el verbo to be? Utilizo el verbo to be para la negativa. Si no está, tengo que ver qué sujeto es para utilizar el don't o el doesn't. ¿Ok? Mm, okay. All right, continue, continue. <laughs> Okay. Yo, yo usualmente le ayudo. Uh -huh. Pero ahora estoy aprendiendo Ay, los sí. verbos, algunos verbos, verbos en inglés. Sería learning. Learning, but, uh -huh, learning but, uh -huh. some French. I am learning Verse. some French. I am learning. Excellent. There you go. Me gusta. Ok, help each other. Continúen. I like it. I am learning. Eh, la 12, because I am. Uh, because I don't know.
6 con S al final, falta la S. 6. Yes. That he wants a perfect garden. Ahí. Wants. S. Falta la S. He, he wants a perfect garden. I usually. I usually, I usually help him. Excellent, excellent. I like it. There you go, there you go. Yeah, casi teacher. All right, Adrian and Billy. No. I lose. I learn. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost. Lost. Estoy, estoy perdido. I'm lost. En, en pasado. No. No. Lost. I'm, I'm lost. lost. Estoy perdido. Ok. I usually help him, but no. now. No. Ok, ahí estás poniendo lost. No es lost. Lo sé. Por los condobles. Aquí está. But now. Aquí te está diciendo cuál va a utilizar. But now. <risa> ah, no, es que Billy se confundió en lo que decía Adrián. Correcto, por eso le estoy diciendo a Billy. <risa> And los no, porque le estaba diciendo a Adrián. <risa> Hey, no voy así con mis sentimientos. But now, <laughs> but now I, I, I am learning. Perfect. He's training. Sí, clean in the bicycle, the usually in playing. Pero es que ahí. The bus for on the Sunday. No, today he is not. He is not, pero eso es lo que estábamos diciendo nosotros. Do, que nosotros, nosotros ya lo habíamos corregido esta parte donde está. Donde pusiste he is not to play. Basketball. Playing, Ajá. no, es. It, ese no va. Solo tendrías que poner he doesn't. Él usualmente está jugando básquetbol en domingo. Pero sí, sí. Uh -huh. but today he doesn't porque lo estábamos haciendo en ba con, con base a la tabla de preguntas y respuestas. Ok, perfecto. Right, vamos. Ahora para corregir todos los errores Ok, le voy a decir algo. Cuando okay. se utiliza el simple present, simple present, there are some words that tells you okay, the answer. What words? Cuando se utiliza el simple present, hay frases que les ayudan a identificarlo. Para el simple present, se utiliza usually, never, often, ok, uh -huh. occasionally, normally. Esas palabras le van a decir que tienen que utilizar el simple present. Para el present okay. progressive, para el present progressive, hay palabras que le dicen cua, que cuando lo van a utilizar, cuando empieza, but now, now, right now, and in this moment. ¿Ok? Ahora okay. corrijan. Entonces so, sería, él, él usualmente juega básquetbol en domingo. Excelente, pero ahí te falta todavía en el verbo algo. En el verbo. In the bird, there is something missing. ¿Qué le falta? Play. Correcto, pero ¿qué falta? Play. Eh. Ah, ya. Play. No, pero ahí no lleva, no lleva el ING, ¿verdad? No, pero ¿qué le falta? El verbo. Sí. La es. es. Excellent. Acuérdate. Porque es tercera persona. Sí, it. Excellent. That's good. 
But today, excelente. Esta es otra palabra del simple, del presente progresivo. But today, ok, del, quiero decir del simple present. Ok, but today, mm -hmm. he is not playing. Ahí no dice he is not playing. Aquí está, ¿ve? but today, he not want. ¿Cuál es el negativo para él? ¿Cuál es el negativo? Not Aquí dice en paréntesis, not want. ¿Cuál sería el negativo para él? What is the negative for the subject he? Isn't. No, porque ahí no está el verbo to be. Ahí no está, en el paréntesis no está el verbo to be. Ahí dice not want. Uh, he. Doesn't, correct, all right. Apóstrofe, ok, T, right. ahora tiene que borrarle el not. He doesn't want, acuérdate que es el want. He doesn't no. want. He doesn't want. Want. Sí, mm -hmm. ahí está en el paréntesis, ve ahí está el verbo, want. Ah, ok. Want to play. Ok, y de ahí pones todo lo demás. Want to play basketball. Ok, perfect. All right. Fíjense en todo eso, ok. Hey, teacher. All right, here we go. ¿Cómo sería la 10? ¿Cómo sería la 10? Help, help, normal, porque es primera Así como persona. la escribí. No, tú lo escribiste con S. Entonces sería normal sin la S. Uh -huh. ah. Yo, yo, o sea, si es así como yo digo, sí, si no, pues falta algo. <risa> ¿Cómo sería, José? ¿Cómo sería? I usually help him. I usually help him. Perfect. I usually help him. Perfect. That's correct. I usually help him. Excellent. Uh, no, I coach. Yes. No. Help I say him. Help him. Help him. Mm -hmm. Help him. Sin S, no. sin ING, ¿verdad? Correcto. Sin la S y help. sin la NG. Mm -hmm. Help him. No la escriban, ¿no? Porque no se come. Help. Así como está ahí. Help him. Ok, correct. Correct, Noemi. Help. That's correct. Ok. Que cuando ya empieces a hablar, eh, Claudita y Noemi, se oye como el helping, pero no es el helping. Es, es como la contracción, como con una apóstrofe y una I y una M. Help him. Pero estamos diciendo help him. All right, so ya no decimos help him. I usually help him. Ya no se dice así, sino que cuando ya, okay, you go faster, you say, I usually help him. I usually help him. Okay? Se oye como que fuera ING, pero no. All right, I usually help him. All right, like that. Okay. Coach. Yes. Both the pronouns, cut. Cut and curling. Cat. Cut. Cat, yes. cutting. Cat, cutting. Cat, cutting. Cut, cutting. Correct. Okay. All right. Y, se, y cuando lo pones en ING es doble T. Ok. Doble T. Okay. Correct. Sí. Cutting. Cutting. Perfect. Continue, continue. Pero se escribe con Y. Eh, cut. No. Cutting. No. ING. Y latina. Correct. The E, the normal E. And say, say that, the, that he... Okay, question to you. Helen. Ahí donde dice Helen, are your father in the garden now? 
¿Está correcto? Estamos hablando de su papá. ¿Y quién es su papá? Tercera persona, ¿está correcto? ¿Verdad que era Is? ¿Verdad que era Is? Correcto. Uh -huh. is, is your nosotros father. Nos con, nosotros sí, nos es, es que así lo tenía yo. Yes. Is your father I'm sorry. in the garden now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Acuérdense, ¿eh? Sí. Miren cómo dice al final, now, lo que les acabo de decir. Now, right now, in this moment. Present progressive, ¿ok? Is your father. So teacher. Yeah. Ah, is your father. Okay, present progressive or present okay. now. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes, okay. he is cutting. Cutting is double T. Double T, cutting. Ah. lo tenías correcto también. ¿Por qué doble T, teacher? Okay, perfecto. Good question. Se escribe doble T porque eh, son verbos que llevan una consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces se dobla. Ese sería uno. Mm. Cutting, ok. El otro sería, mm -hmm. uh, quiero ver si hay otro. Cutting. Hay otros, hay otros, pero se escribe con doble T. Cutting. Ok. Excuse me. Is your por qué? Ok, es, está tu papá. Ok, my father, your father, mi papá, tu papá. Do you understand? My father, your father, ok, your father, así se dice tú en inglés. Where is your mother? ¿Dónde está tu mamá? Hey, where is your mother? Where is your father? Where is your sister? Where is your brother? Esa es la forma como se dice dónde está tú. Your. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Era, se usa ahí. Okay. Yes. Ok. Ah, otro no. verbo que lleva doble T es hitting. H-I-T. Hit. H Hit. Ah, okay. Hitting, ese es otro que lleva doble T. Ah, okay. Hitting, cutting, hay otros, hay otros, ok. But let me remember. He doesn't like long grass. He often, ok. He often, estamos hablando de él. ¿Qué pasa con el verbo? He often. ¿Dónde está? He often. Habría que agregarle la S. Excelente, porque es tercera persona, acuérdense. He often says that he is, he is wanting. Él está a querer. Eso están poniendo ahí. Él está a querer. Hay que corregirlo. Ok. That he, él es quiere. Hay que corregirlo. Ese, es que él is no va. Correcto, no va. Ahora hay que corregir el verbo. Bueno. Tercera persona. All right. Él quiere. Perfecto. He wants a perfect garden. I usually help him. But now I. Excelente. Continue. Okay. What are you doing after class? Uh -huh. What are you doing? Lo que hacía la diferencia de ayer. El, what are you doing? Puede decir que está haciendo ahorita, pero lo que le agregaba al final era lo que bueno, hacía bueno. que fuera como futuro. El, uh -huh. el, 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 el after coming, uh -huh. el tomorrow. Yes, uh -huh. yes. after class. Like, what are you doing? After después class, clase. Eh, la, la, lo que le agrega después del doing es lo que lo hace volverse futuro. A futuro. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Bárbara Rox. Congratulations. Thank you. <risa> <risa> ya lo terminó Roxana. <risa> ya nos dio copia. <risa> oh, boy, that's good, that's good. <risa> All right, guys. Very easy, very simple. Uh, 
This is basically grammar. Esto es prácticamente gramática, ¿oí? Gramática. Correct. This is practically grammar, ¿ok? Gramática utilizando dos estructuras, el presente y el present, con, present progressive, ¿ok? ¿Cómo se identifica? Así como les dije, hay palabras que les dicen la respuesta. Para el, simple, para el presente, usually, never, ever, occasionally, normally, today, ¿ok? Today. Esos son los que les dicen, ¿ok? Que se utiliza el presente. Para el present progressive, right now, in this moment, now, y quiero ver qué otro. Ya, yeah, eso sería, ¿ok? Teacher. Now, right now, and in this moment. Yes, tell me. En, en la plataforma yo vi una oración que decía, I like driving to the work. To, to work. Correct. I, like I like driving to work. Y Correct. eso ahí me confunde que es. Perfecto, Roxy. I'm going to explain this to you right now. Te lo voy a explicar ahorita ah, para mm -hmm. todos. Quiero ver. Sí, ok. Voy a abrir. Let me see. Voy a cerrar esto. Ok. Ok. ¿Quién está compartiendo ahorita? Yo. Ok. Uh, stop it right now. Ok. Yes, perfect. 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 Voy a abrir aquí esto para explicar eso de Roxy. Es muy fácil de entenderlo. Ok, here we go. Ok, just give me a second. Ahorita lo explico. Ok. Just give me a second. I'm going to share the screen. Ok, here we go. Ok, guys. Aquí lo tenemos. Lo voy a explicar rapidito para todos ustedes aquí. Y de ahí lo vamos a explicar en el main screen para todos los demás. A esto es lo que me acabo de decir Roxy. This is what Roxy just told me. I like driving, ok, driving to, ok, to work. Ok, like that. Yes. Vamos a dejar ese. Lo vamos a dejar ahí porque es el que Roxy me dijo. Ahora voy a poner dos ejemplos más. Ok, I, ok, like to Read books. Y ahora voy a poner el otro. I like reading books. Con esto se lo voy a explicar ahorita. So, I like to read books. I like reading books. Que es casi lo mismo como este. Lo voy a poner aquí. Ok. Aquí lo voy a poner el otro. Ok. I like to drive. Ok. To work. Ok. Entonces, lo vamos, aquí se lo voy a explicar rapidito para que entiendan el de arriba. I like to read books. Ok. I like reading books. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? I like reading books is... I love reading books. Este sería el significado. I love reading books. Este sería el significado. Ok. Sorry. Hello. I love reading books. Y aquí, I have to read books. Ese sería el significado de este. Ok, ¿cuál es la diferencia, Roxy? Que el primero es que, que tiene que hacer, que leer el libro. Correcto, estoy en la universidad. Para, para, para graduarme tengo que leer libros, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Y en me el otro, ¿qué dice? Me, me, me gusta leer libros. Me, gusta. Me, me encanta, me gusta leer libros. ¿Ok? ¿Do you understand? Yes. Ok, so... vamos, vamos aquí. I like driving to work. ¿Ok? A esta persona le encanta manejar hacia el trabajo. Pero a esta... Tiene okay. que manejar hacia Tiene que trabajo. manejar, ¿no? Porque, oh, ay, ni modo, o sea, por ella no, no manejara, pues, pues. o sea, uh -huh. yes, do you understand? No. Entonces, sí, eh, eh, el like, I like driving to work es simple present. Y simple present, la única diferencia sería esa, Roxy. Uh -huh. Esa sería la diferencia. Se, co se conjuga ah. para hacer sentir el hecho de que es de mi agrado. Correcto, excelente. Right? El significado es el mismo, Ajá. pero ya al darle un contexto, esa sería la otra diferencia. That's the other pero, difference. 
Ok. Lo que a mí me hace sentir hacer la acción. Correcto. Una lo hago por compromiso y el otro por, porque me gusta, por un deseo. Correcto, ok. Entonces pues, cuando se, se, con, se conjuga el verbo que acompaña la oración, agregando el ING al verbo original, es porque me gusta, porque, porque yo lo quiero hacer. Correcto. Por ejemplo, cuando dices, I like to work from home. Me gusta trabajar desde casa. I like to work from home. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Lo tienes que hacer porque ni modo, no puedes salir ahorita en la pandemia. Uh -huh. Ok, pero hay otras personas que ahorita les fascina. O sea, es un mundo super nice. Estoy en mi I casa. Like, I, I like, like working. working from home. From ok, home. like that. Do you understand? Y, 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 sin, y sin la terminación ING, el teacher. ¿Cómo? Y sin la terminación ING. Sin la terminación, aquí está. I, I, like, to, I, I, like, I like, I like drive to work. I like drive to work. Y también tú. No. Dice Adrián. Ok, aquí está, es como lo tienes que poner si, si no lo quieres poner el ING form. I like to drive. Entonces, esa fuera una forma errónea de escribirlo. Sí. Por ejemplo, ahorita Adrián me está diciendo, I like, I like drive, está incorrecto. Ajá. Porque lo correcto sería este de aquí, ¿ves? I like to drive. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Pero está claro eso del ING y el, y el que no. Pues no. Sí. <risa> Adrián, Adrián. Me pierdo un poquito. ¿Cómo? Pues no, yo me pierdo un poquito, le digo. Por, por la driving, me está diciendo eh, eh, pre, presente continuo, ¿verdad? Correcto. I like, me gusta, me gusta manejando tu work, me gusta no. manejando el trabajo. No, 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 ok. Espérate. Adrián, el significado es el mismo. I like driving to work and I like to, uh, and I like to drive to work es el mismo. Me gusta manejar al trabajo, me gusta manejar al, lo mismo, dice. Pero yo le estoy explicando a Roxy que hay otra diferencia. Porque en I like driving significa que le encanta. Y en el I like to es que lo tiene que hacer como una imposición que dijo Billy, como una obligación. ¿Do you understand? ¿Adrián? Mm, no, me quedo perdido siempre, dicho. Okay. Lo que pasa es que no, no se agrega el ING como una conjugación del verbo con presente continuo, sino solo se va a interpretar en contexto de lo que se está hablando. Es okay, decir, Adrián. nosotros podemos hablar y yo le digo, Adrián, uh, yo tengo que ir al supermercado, pero dentro del mismo contexto de la conversa conversación, Puedo decirle, Adrián, a mí me encanta ir al supermercado y voy para allá. Entonces da la sensación de que lo hace porque lo quiere hacer, porque le agrada y no porque sea una obligación hacerlo. Al final, lo que le he entendido al teacher es que no se conjuga el verbo con el afán de llegar al, al verbo presente continuo. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, Adrián, te voy a poner otro. I like cooking and I like to cook. Ok, vamos a poner ese último. Ok, los dos, las dos estructuras significan lo mismo, Adrián. Me gusta cocinar y me gusta cocinar, ok. Esto lo mismo significa... ¿Ok? Me gusta cocinar y me gusta cocinar. Lo puedes escribir de las dos formas. I like cooking or I like to cook. Y significa lo, lo mismo. En it means the same. Me gusta cocinar, me gusta cocinar. Pero lo que Roxy me estaba preguntando, que cuál era la diferencia cuando se ponía en ING. ¿Ok? Right? Y cuando está lo en... Mismo, lo, la misma pregunta que le estoy haciendo ahorita. Correcto. Entonces yo le dije a Roxy, la diferencia es... Que en el primero, en el I like cooking, es que a la persona le encanta. 
y en la otra lo tiene que hacer porque no está la esposa o no está el esposo. Ok, Leita. ¿Cómo saber cuál? cuál o sea, esa sería la diferencia, ¿cómo saber cuándo usar cuál? No, no, puedes usar el que tú quieras. Pero como decía Bill, el contexto es diferente. No, el contexto es porque... el like cooking. El like cooking, yo adoro cocinar, yo me encanta okay. cocinar. El... Puedes, util... puedes utilizar el que tú quieras. La diferencia que le estaba explicando a Rosy es esa, que a una persona le encanta hacer algo es cuando está en el ING. Y cuando no la... está, es porque ni modo tiene que hacerlo. La diferencia de presente continuo, ahí sería que no es I, I am, no estoy haciendo. Correcto. Y I like, me gusta, es diferente a decir, yo estoy cocinando, por ejemplo, I am. Correct, yo estoy correct, cocinando. correct, correct, excelente. Ok, guys, ah. esa es la diferencia, that's the difference. Okay. Oh, right. Más o menos, Adrián. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí vamos agarrando un poquito, encontrándonos. <risa> Okay, 31 seconds. Here we go. Okay, 17 seconds. Okay, they are still working on this. How are you, Adrian? Little by little, step by step. <laughs> Excellent. Lo último que dijiste es perfecto. Esa es la forma de que... Good night. Good night. <risa> Hello. Hi. Ay, me dejaste sola, no he hablando. <risa> ok, <risa> guys. Y me sacó de todo y tuve que volver a entrar. <risa> no voy a... Estaba con Josué y con Claudita. <risa> Ok, guys, we're going to have the attendance in this moment. Vamos a hacer la asistencia. Merci, la, merci Luna. No. Ok, that's good. Bien. Uh, Adrián, sigue around. Presente, present. Oh, hi, present. I had all, no. Catherine, Giselle, play test. Not today. Jose Ramírez. No, ok. Claudia Semar Ordóñez. Giselle tuvo problemas de conexión nuevamente. Yes. Yes, así me estaba diciendo Giselle, Rubidia, and... Hey, Harold. Y Harold me dijo que, yes, que yes. no puede. Yes. Ahora lo vi en el trabajo y eso me comunicó que como que está súper malísima la señal. Yes, uh, varios, varios. Muchos me han escrito, ¿ok? Ahí antes de la clase me escribieron y me dijeron de que estaba lloviendo y que se había ido la luz en unos lugares, Rubidia, o hay otros. Janet también me estaba escribiendo que... Ok, problem with the internet. All right. Ana María Alvarado. Ana María Alvarado. Presente. All right. Carlita Arias de Romero. Ella ha escrito en el chat que está enferma. Ok, thank you, Billy. Buena salud. Okay. Perfect. Catherine Lozano, no. Ok, Catherine Vázquez, no. Si sí, Fredo Omar, ah, Omar was telling me also. Ok, problems. Ok, uh, let me see, Josué, Josué Rosales. Present. Perfect, Josué. Billy, Billy Peña. Present. All right, Gloria Noemi Alfaro. Here. Excellent. Jose Guillermo Paz, no, ok. Elizabeth Méndez de Pineda. Present teacher. Excellent teacher. Alicia Handel Colorado. Present. Ok, yo, yo el apellido de ti, Alicia, lo siento así bien, este ruso. Handel Colorado. Handel. Yeah, Handel Colorado. Así bien. Es ruso, de origen los... palestino. Ah, por eso, ok, yeah. That's My why. My mom is um, Handel Abuyarade. Ambos. Oh. Oh, that's why. Sí, porque cuando pronuncio Handal Colorado, lo siento así, 
por ahí de esos rumbos. Oh, bye, like oh, bye. Janet Simana, ahí estaba, pero se desconectó. Ok, Dex, Roxana Cornejo. Roxy, Roxy, ¿dónde está Roxy? Ahí está. Roxy, hello. Excelente. Oh, bye. En Rubilla, me escribió que también tenía mala señal. All right, guys, excellent. So vamos a, ch a chequear. We're going to check it out what we just did. This conversation right here. Okay, this one, okay? This is the one that you were doing, okay? Trying to complete together with some classmates. At the end, al final, tendría que quedar así. All right. Así tendría que quedar. Esa es la respuesta, okay? De la conversación, de la conversation. All right. Check in, check in. All right, try to, try to compare. Vean ahí si está bien. Ok, lo que hicieron, y si no, corrijan. All right, here we go. Doesn't want to play basketball. Is your father in the garden now? Correct, correct. Is your father in the garden now? Yes, he's cooking. Grass, he doesn't want. No grass. Often say, oh, I say that he finds a perfect garden. I wish to help him, but uh, but now I wish to help. Okay. So this is the way that we do it. I was checking, okay, some of your answers. I was helping, okay, uh, right there. I was telling you when that when we use the simple present, there are some words that let, let us know what to use. For example, the simple present, okay. Uh, for example, when we have often, usually, normally, today, uh, and now, we use the, okay, simple present. But for the present progressive, okay, there are the words that give you the answers. Okay, for example, uh, right now, in this moment, uh, now also, and others, okay? But those are the three that is telling you to use the simple progressive. And the others, okay, that I mentioned before, okay, is the one that we use for the simple present. Okay, guys, so basically, this is the conversation. Y la vamos a practicar, all right, with fluency. All right, let's start. Alicia, okay, practice the conversation with Elizabeth. Okay. Fluency, fluency. Where is David? Ali? Hello. Boy. Hello, where is David? <laughs> he is cleaning his bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sunday, but today he doesn't want to play. Basketball. Is your father in the garden now? Perfect. Yes, he is cool. Teacher, please help him. Uh, cutting. He's cutting. Cutting. Okay. Yes, he's cutting the grass. He doesn't like long grass. He often say that they want perfect garden. Usually help care. I usually help him. Help him. Okay. So mm, I usually help him, but now I am learning some French verbs. Why? Because I don't know the um, excuse me. Because I don't know <laughs> the um we always have a test on Monday morning. Monday Perfect. morning. Monday okay. morning, correct. I don't know them. Okay, aquí sería, I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. Because I don't know them. Correcto, I don't know them. I don't know them. Ya no, cuando ya las personas ya no dicen, I don't know them. Ya no dicen así cuando están platicando. Why? Because I don't know them. I always have tests on Monday morning. Odio esas cosas. Okay, sí. Y por eso es que nos quedamos. ¿Qué dijo? Oh, I like that, right? This is right. because I okay. don't know them. Correct. Because I don't know them. Okay. I don't know them. I don't know um, them. Because um, I don't know them. 
Okay, like that. All right, Roxy and Billy, your turn. Thank you, Alice and Elizabeth. What is they? <laughs> Me, what is David? I got a reason. Ya, ya lo vamos a poner a practicar, no se preocupe. <laughs> He's cleaning his bicycle. Okay, otra vez. He's cleaning his bicycle. He's cleaning his bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sunday. Okay, otra vez. No he tienes usually, que, okay, otra vez. He's cleaning his bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sundays. Hasta ahí tienes que llegar, no te tienes que detener. All right? But today he doesn't want to play basketball. Así tienes, no te tienes que detener para que haya esa fluidez. One more time, Billy. He's cleaning his bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sunday. But today he doesn't want to play basketball. Is your father in the garden now? Yes, he is cutting the grass. He doesn't like long grass. He often says that they what? Perfect garden. Sí. Otra vez. He often say that no, the one... Esta palabra, esta palabra se pronuncia ses. Repeat, ¿Cómo? please. Esta palabra se pronuncia ses. 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 No. Otra vez. Ses. 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 Otra vez. He often says that the one perfect God. I usually help him. But no, I am. Uh, no, I otra am... vez. But no, no. But now, but now, but now. Otra vez. One but more time. Now, okay. But now I am learning some French. Okay. Words. Aquí no dice I am. ¿Cómo dice? I'm. I'm. Okay, otra vez. But now. But now. But now I'm learning. Some French bird. Perfect. Why? Because, because I don't know them. And the Otra vez. Old. Because I don't know them. Because I don't know because them. Because I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. Because I don't know them. They and the, um, we always have a test on Monday morning. Okay, perfect. Así se tiene que leer. I like it, Billy. Easy, easy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Adrián y Noemi. All right, Noemi. Okay. Okay. Where is David? <laughs> hola, hola. Hello. Where is okay. David? He is cleaning his bicycle. He was, okay, he was wait, 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 wait. Bicycle, no. Bicycle. Otra vez. Bicycle. He is cleaning his bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sunday, but today he doesn't want to play basketball. Perfect. Is your father in the garden now? Yes. He's cutting the grass. He doesn't like long grass. He often says that he wants perfect garden. I usually help him, but now I'm, le I'm learning some French verb. Perfect. Why? Because I don't, I don't know them. And we always have a test on Monday morning. Perfect, all right guys, excellent. So that's what we're going to practice right now. Eso es lo que vamos a practicar. Vamos a hacer dos cosas. Vamos a hacer esta conversación y vamos a practicar esta que acabamos de crear. Ok, here we go. Dos conversaciones. Yo creo que ya tienen la foto, ¿verdad? Do you have the picture? Yes. Ok, guys, I'm going to put you into the rooms. Two conversations. This one and this one. Ok. Here we go. Just let me put into the rooms right now with 10, all right? Here we go, here we go. What is it? Right here. No, 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 no. Yes, please. Okay. There you go. 
recreate, initiate. Okay, guys, click on the invitation. Two conversations right now. Póngale fluidez, all right, and good pronunciation. All right, Adrian. Click on the invitation. Click on the invitation, Adrian. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, perfect. Whew. All right, so we've been working really hard with the students. I was checking some of the different exercises they were doing. Okay, basically the last one was about creating and also completing a conversation using uh, simple present and present progressive. Okay, that was quite okay. Like uh, they, were, they were struggling, okay, to complete it. But at the end, they did it correctly because I was also explaining, okay, that uh, into the simple present, there are some phrases, okay, to identify what to use. And also for the present progressive, there are other phrases, okay, that help us, okay, to understand when to use it, okay, that is structure. Okay, let's go and check it out how they're doing right now, that conversation, two conversations. No, 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 what happened? Es que ella está lloviendo. Okay, there she is, there she is. Ah, okay, ya. Yeah. Oh, Anita, Pérate. action. He's cleaning the bicycle. He usually playing basketball on Sunday, but today he doesn't want to play basketball. Yes, he is coating the like, in the grass. He doesn't like long grass. He often okay. say grass, grass. Así como está escrito se, se dice grass. Okay, grass. Okay. Yes, he is co este coating. Karin, Karin. Esa U suena como una A y las dos T suena como una R. Karin. Karin, okay. He's cutting the grass. He does like long grass. He often say that. No, como te dije que ibas a pronunciar. He often he... says. Acuérdate, says. He often says. He often says that that he wants wants perfect garden. I usually. Help. Uy, ¿por qué no lo puedo pronunciar? <laughs> otra vez. He often say that he okay, wants. Ok, otra vez. Says. Ay, says. Ok, escríbelo ahí, escríbelo. Ok, eres visual y tienes que escribirlo. S-E-S. -E -S. Escribe. S -E -S. E escribe. S -S. Ok. Correcto. Escribe el verbo y a la par escríbele la pronunciación. Ses. Sí. Ok. Se lo voy a agregar después a la otra que esta es la que usted es la imagen. Ok. Um, otra vez. He often. He often says does want perfect garden. I usually help. I usually, I usually. I usually help. ¿Cómo se pronunciaba este? I usually sí. help him. Perfect. I usually help him. Help, help, no. help him. Help him. Help him. <laughs> I usually help him. But now I am learning some French. Learning, words. learning. I... One more time, otra vez. Um, <laughs> but now... I am learning some French verbs. Perfect. Good. <laughs> y la frase de Anita. Anita. Why? Excellent. <laughs> because? Because I don't know. Yes. Because I don't know there. And we always have test on Monday morning. Perfect, all right. Las que te están dando duro ahí son Cés, 
Ok, que ya lo escribiste, ok, ya no se te va a olvidar. Sí. Says, y el otro que se estaba ahí dando problema, usually. Says and usually. Usually. Usually, usually, ok. Pero luego la, la unión era aquí, because I don't know. I don't know them, I don't know I them. Don't know, I don't know them. Correcto, I, right? I don't know them. I don't know. Y, y abarca, en todo caso, abarca hasta, hasta acá. Hasta Correcto, okay. I don't know them. Correct. I, I don't know them. That's and good. We'll always have a test on Monday morning. Okay. Correct. That's good. Excellent. And my brother is playing video games. And your mother? She's cooking now. She's making fried, fried beans, fried bananas, you know, at the typical dinner here. That's delicious. Well, I am happy to hear you are fine, but I have to leave you. I will, have, I will call you on the weekend, okay? Sure, take, take care. Goodbye and say hello to everybody. <laughs> I will. All right, all right. Let me see. Okay, there is a student right now. What is it? What is it? Uh, okay, Anita. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. She's in the room. Bicycle. Bicycle. He usually plays basketball on Sunday, but today he doesn't want to play basketball. Is your father in the garden now? Yes, he's cutting the grass. He doesn't like long grass. He often says that he wants a perfect garden. I usually help him, but now I am learning some French verb. Why? Because I don't, because I don't know, I, because I don't know, no, me quedo ahí, compañero. Because I don't know, because don't know. I don't know them. Because I don't know them. Excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent, Adrian, I like it. Because I don't know them, and always have a test on Monday morning. Okay. Coach. Tell me. Uh, en, en esa, yo, yo había escrito, I ha, he always having a test on Monday morning. Yes. But, Because, para mí tenía sentido, o sea, ¿por qué es have y no having? Because we always have. We always have. Nosotros siempre tenemos. We always have. Si le ponemos having, nosotros siempre teniendo. Ok. Teniendo. Sí, ok. All right. Ana María, hello, hello. Ana María, can you hear me? No, Ana okay. María. All right, it's ok. Ana María. Ok, perfecto. Uh. All right, we will cover, okay, Ana María, one more time. She was lost, estaba perdida, oh, hay una dimensión ahí. <laughs> All right, Ana María, little by little, step by step. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, we're here to help you. Okay, Adrián, excellent job, little by little, ahí vamos, okay. Ya vamos a hacer otra actividad, we got, we're about to do an activity that's going to give you more practice, more speaking, more fluency, okay, para que se vayan soltando, okay. Here we go. Just give me a second. I'm going to call you back to main screen and then I'm going to display that activity to you. Just give me a Little by little, step by step. Why making students okay practice more English, being fluent? Why? No, Emmy. All right, teacher, no Emmy. 
Teacher, are you a preschool teacher or a science teacher or social studies teacher? <laughs> language. Oh, language in English se dice Spanish. Spanish. Spanish is social study. Y educación en la fe. My God, amazing. Oh, why? <laughs> Teacher, don't get sick and tired. <laughs> How do you say educación en la fe? Uh, uh -huh. uh, or re religion. 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 Religion, okay? Religion subject, all right? That is the name, all right? Religion. All right, guys, excellent job. I was listening to you and I was telling Adrian, okay, like a minute ago, that you're gonna go ahead to do an activity, okay, for more fluency, for more speaking. What is that activity? This one right here, check it out. Just let me show you. Okay, so this is the activity that you were practicing to conversations. All right, this was the answer. Okay, and now here we have this activity. Aquí la tenemos. Okay, telling useful information about yourself. Okay, ahí la gran, ya se las hice un poco más grande, okay, para que ustedes empiecen a hacer más y más y más, okay? Very easy, very simple. So for this activity, vamos a poner ahí a, vamos a ver quién, just give me a sec, uy, ¿qué pasó? Aquí está. All right, vamos a poner a Elizabeth. Okay, veo que ahí me está levantando la mano, me llega. ¿Qué okay, Elizabeth? Dale pues. <laughs> um, hi, good evening. My name is Elizabeth. I live in the Santa Tecla City. In the Santa Let Tecla, no. In Santa Tecla City. In Santa Tecla City. Let me tell you something that I love, I have learned. Continue, no te detengas. Okay. okay. Well, my dudes are, uh, uh, Obligaciones dudes. del trabajo, send reports, okay. write report, have meetings, okay. 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 Otra vez, one more time. Fluido, sin detenerse, action. <laughs> Desde el inicio. Yes, hi, good evening, my name is. Okay, hi, good evening. My name is Elizabeth. I live in Santa Tecla City. Let me tell you something that I have learned. Well, my duties are send emails, check emails, teach class, and about me, and about me. No, and about my house chores. And about my house chores, I have a clean, clean the windows and cook the Dinner. Um, uh, watch my car. There's some info about my friendly time, time activities I can mention. And I watch TV. I learn newspaper. I study English, I um, practice English, <laughs> I, I meet in English. <laughs> Why? What did they say? I go to the park, I go to the beach, I buy, I buy okay. ice cream, okay, like that. Continue. Okay. Also. Also, also my likes and dislikes. I like, um, sing a song, I like um, cook, I like um, dancing, I like um, only. But I, but I don't only. like. But I don't like, um, how do you say planchar? Ironing. Ironing. Uh, I don't like, um, don't like it. Uh, the red peppers. I don't like um solo dos son, solo dos, no te pierdas. Yeah, okay, okay. And frequency words. Frequency. And frequency words. I will say that usually I usually I usually uh, get up at 
six o'clock. I never, um, I never uh, play tennis. I never play tennis. I never play tennis. I occasionally um, send reports. Send reports and and sometimes check emails. Besides, some of my obligations during the week are. I have to. I have to. I have to uh, check uh, the homework of my students and uh, report uh, with uh, her parents and meet with my partners. Finally. Finally, I. A very friend, friendly, amigable, amigable, and sociably person. Sociable, and I so really sociable, sociable person, and really like to make friends everywhere. Everywhere. So I, if 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 you want to contact me, this is my email I address. Uh, Liz Pineda, arroba, colegio Champagne. No, ¿cómo dices arroba? No sé. How at, do you say it? At. 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 Una A y una T. At. At. Liz Pineda, at, eh, colegio Champañán, punto. No, punto se dice that. Una D, una O y una T, pero se pronuncia la O como una A. That. Otra vez. That, punto. Yes. At. Ok. Uh, my email address is lispineda at colegio champaña dot e d d u dot s u v. Well, that is that. Well, that's all I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> little by little. Step by step. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys. Esto es a petición de Adrián. Okay. No, son mentiras. Bye -bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Esto es para que todos practiquemos. Okay. Oh. Lo que hemos aprendido. <laughs> Bye -bye. This is okay to empezar a hablar y hablar más y más. Okay. That's the main objective for this. To speak more, more, and more. Okay, guys, this is what we're going to do. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer right now into the rooms. Así como lo hizo Elizabeth, así lo vamos a hacer. We're going to tell this information to each other right now into the rooms. So take a picture, porque es diferente a lo que teníamos. Take a picture. Okay, and that's subir? what we... Adrián? ¿La puede subir alguien, por favor? Yes, don't worry. Excellent. This moment. Okay, excellent. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. Ahora lo que voy a hacer es esto. Pronunciation. Uh, ahí eh, esto, friendly. Aquí este de aquí se dice friendly. Y este de aquí se dice sociable. Okay, friendly, sociable. Y este de aquí, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Friendly, sociable, everywhere. Okay, lo demás... Ya lo sabemos, ya lo hemos estado practicando, ¿ok? Y este de aquí, email address, email address, ¿ok? Like that. So, here we go. Lo voy a poner ahorita en los yes, salones. Teacher. Yes. Eh, perdón, ¿cómo fue que dijo para el punto? Ok, en este momento, ahorita lo pongo entonces. That. 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 that, that sí, pero lo voy, a, lo voy a escribir porque... Sí, es mejor. Somos, somos, somos visuales, somos visuales, ¿ok? Yes, okay. Oh, yeah, he's by a second, se me pierda, teacher. Okay, aquí vamos. Lo voy a compartir. Okay. Eh, teach, teacher, y para todos, ¿cómo se dice arroba? Lo voy a escribir ahí al final, okay? ¿Cómo se dice arroba en inglés? Se dice, lo voy a poner at. At. Okay, ¿cómo se dice, okay, guión bajo en inglés? Voy a poner un ejemplo, mer. Uh, 77, y de ahí el guión bajo, ok, así, guión bajo, ¿cómo se dice guión bajo en inglés? Se dice, ok, underscore, por si acaso hay algunos tienen que decir guión bajo, 
Ok, y de ahí el otro, ¿cómo se dice? Ok, el otro era, vamos a poner, un dash aquí, ok. El otro era, ya Junto. Oh, sí, correcto, pero quiero poner, yahoo.com, ok, ese de ahí, yahoo.com, lo voy a poner aquí abajo, ok. ¿Cómo se dice yahoo.com? ¿Cómo se dice punto? Ok, aquí, yahoo.com se va a pronunciar, se escribe así, se escribe D-O-T, D-O-T, pero se va a pronunciar that. Correct. All right. You're going to pronounce it. Y se va a pronunciar that. Ok. That. So, guys, ahí lo tienen. Ok. Para decir el email. Ok. Like that. Very easy, very simple. Teacher Noemi. Yes. Ok. Ok, guys. I'm going to put you into the rooms. Lo voy a poner en los salones in this moment. All right. Here we go. Yes, we have time. Tenemos ocho, nueve minutos tenemos, ok? Perfecto, para que lo digan uno a otro. <ríe> uh, I like it. Ah, ah pues no, ya no salimos a tener. <ríe> Ahí pues, eh, Billy, ok. Solo para que lo diga Billy, tenemos tiempo. <ríe> All right, that's good. Here we go. Ok, guys, ahí vamos. <ríe> All right. Click on the invitation. And practice telling that information. Very easy, very simple. <laughs> I like it, I like it. All right, all right. So here we go one more time. Josue, Josue, click on the invitation. All right, go and practice. All right, Josué, Josué. Go and practice, go and practice. Excellent, I like it. <sighs> okay, guys, so it's been okay, like having the students and making them speak, all right? So basically, uh, the last activity is to make them speak more and more and to become uh, more fluent and that the flow Okay, of the speaking has to be better with this activity. All right, let's go and check it out. So today is going to be a little bit post, okay, but through the time, okay, maybe two, three days is going to be more than excellent. Let's go and check it out. I ride my bike, swim, and, and climb. Also, my like in, in this light, I like the ice cream, I like the popsicle, I like the meat, but I don't like... Microphone, microphone, Adrian, microphone. Microphone, Adrian, microphone, microphone. No se escucha. Adrian, microphone, microphone. Adrián, microphone, microphone, microphone. Adrián, microphone. Excuse me. All right. Excuse me, excuse me. I, I will say usually... Mm, me perdí ahí, teacher. ¿Qué es lo que tú usualmente haces? I usually check emails. I never uh, go to a late... I, I usually... I usually uh, sleep in, in the afternoon. Perfect. I, I, ne I never travel. I occasionally swim in the beach and I sometimes meet my friends. Besides some of my obligations during the week are I have to go my work. I have to train in the new personnel. I have to upload and download the TV boxes. Uh, finally, I am very friendly and sociable person. And I really like to make friends. 
everywhere. So if you want to contact me, this is my email address. Address. Adrián. Adrián Cigarán Tisnado. 165 at that.com. Uh, well, that's all, all I can tell you. Okay, now Noemi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hi, good evening. My name is Noemi Cuella. I live in Santa Tecla. Let me tell you something that I have learned. Well, my duties are call the parent, have meetings, check and send emails. And about me, house chores, it, I water the plant, wash the car, do the dishes, pay the bills. Then some info about me, free time activities. I can mention, mm, listen to music, read the book, exercise, play address my daughter, watch TV and movies. Also my likes and dislikes. I like uh, dance my daughter, I like cook, I like read. But I don't like, uh, don't like sink. <laughs> I don't like spaghetti. Um, frequency words, I will say they, I usually visit my mother. I never seen. I occasionally play soccer. I sometimes play the guitar, but I some of my obligation during the week are on Monday in teach Spanish <laughs> and Tuesday in teach social study and Wednesday I teach education in faith. <laughs> religion, religion, <laughs> religion. <laughs> okay. Mm, finally, I am very friendly and socially person and really like to ma make friends everywhere. So I, you want to contact me, this is my email address. Noemi that alfaro at <laughs> colegio champaña that edu that sb <laughs> well that's all i can tell you <laughs> que terrible <laughs> Okay, that's Yes, tell me, Adrián. And, and frequency word, yes. I would say to, I, I would say that usually. I would say y that. Que, que, uh -huh. Y que, que dice, y palabra frecuente. Y las, y las palabras de frecuencia yo podría decir, ok, yo diría, yo diría que usualmente, ok, that's what it means there, ok, ok, perfecto, ok, teacher Naomi, I like it, little by little, step by step, ok, Así como Adrián sentía que no terminaba, así fue esto para usted también. I like it. Pobrecita de mí. All right, but All right. That's, basically this is, uh, this is something, okay, that we have learned. Eso es lo que hemos aprendido. This is something that we have learned together. All right, y ya lo están diciendo, okay. La idea es de que lo digan qué es lo que han aprendido, okay. Y que lo digan siempre. 
All right, so aquí este es el formato para que ustedes lo practiquen. So this is the format for you to practice every day. All right, si tienen, si ustedes ven, les llevó casi cinco minutos, cuatro puntos something, all right, four minutes and something. All right, quiere decir que si lo hacen más fluido, se va a ir reduciendo el tiempo hasta llegar a unos 3.5 minutos, all right, like that. Ya cuando lo dicen más sí. fluido. Es que, teacher, eh... Y ya cuando uno no está leyendo, sino eh, ya que tiene que ir as, as sacando eh, el enriquecimiento del, del vocabulario, ya es, se siente. Yes, correcto. Eh, para eso es esto. Para eso es esto. These are formats, ok, for your brain. Estos son formatos para, sus, para su mente, ok. Right? The more that you repeat and the more that you practice, ok, so you stick it in your brain. Y se queda ahí con ustedes. Y ya después uno es espontáneo, ¿ok? Tú dices información de la que tú has practicado, information that you have practiced and that you have been repeating and repeating all the time. All right, guys, basically, ¿ok? This is it. Excellent job. Good pronunciation, good fluency, ¿all right? Y esa es la tarea. That's the homework. That's the homework, ¿ok? To do it and to do it again and again and again, ¿all right? Until it's this becomes normal, hasta que esto se vuelve normal, decirlo, ok, like that, yes, all right, teacher, and at the end, good job, good job. <laughs>
en esta actividad. Ok, completamos una conversación. We completed a conversation utilizando los dos estructuras. Present and present progressive. All right, so that was the main objective. That fue el objetivo principal. Okay, besides speaking more and more with that format that you have right now. Okay, guys, do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Do you have questions? No question. Okay, repitamos todo otra vez. Oh, no, so just kidding. No. <laughs> okay, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, guys. Adrián, pregunta. <laughs> No. Okay, guys. Excellent job. All right. Practicing and study English all the time. Very easy, very simple. I see you tomorrow with the same teacher, the same students at the same time. Practicing English with me. Very easy, very simple. Anita, pregunta, dígame. Nada. Okay, guys. Váyanse a dormir, yo me quedo con Anita practicándolo todo otra vez. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, goodbye, goodbye. All right, that's bye. it. Bye, bye. 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 bye.